Mark Dobson from Argyle, Iowa, extreme southeast Iowa. Um, we farm and then I run a small business called Dobson Ag Services and do custom app for some neighbors in the community. So we, in the past, we ran 60 units of in on bean stubble in the fall and 90 on corn on corn uh, via anhydrous. And then um, we just plant in the spring and we side dress. We have a high speed side dress bar and we have variable rate post apply all of our in and hydrous also and um, that's what we've done for several years but we are in the process of moving away from any fall nitrogen whatsoever and putting down 50 units with the planter and then we may still come back with like 60 units of an hydrous later and then wide drop at v12 or whatever when we kind of have a better idea of where the crop's at and where the summer's at and uh, the main reason i kind of wanted to move that route is um, one, just when the nitrogen's needed. The last three springs I've done research on nitrate levels. In the spring and in April we have a lot of in in the nitrate form and I, I don't like that. Um, to me you can reduce in and we actually have been on our farm 10 to 20 units and seeing actually better yield results. So um, the other advantage to the wide drop system, um, I like sulfur when nitrogen is applied anytime. And when you're doing anhydrous, that's not really an easy thing to do. And with wide drops, I can run a number of companies' products or ammonia theosulfate or whatever along with it and apply sulfur right at the base of the plant also. And that's important to me. It helps stabilize the end and it's also an important nutrient later on. We will, there's still a few fields we have that are too small to justify, but I would say 90% of our acres will be wide drop next year.